Alright, now I wanted to definitely make a video here of this. I don't know how it's going to look because I know it's getting dim out. But we have got some major raccoon foraging behavior right here. They seem to really like this spot here. It must make them feel pretty secure. And they have been actually catching and eating things. I don't know if catching is the right word. It's probably little clams. Um, so they're not like catching them per se, but they're, you know, finding them and picking them up. So I can actually talk a little bit about raccoon natural history here since they're so content doing this. And it's obviously a really great natural behavior for them. They're even finding food already. So what, uh, what a raccoon does, of course its front paws are extremely uh, sensitive. Very sensitive, way more sensitive than ours. And uh, very dexterous and nimble. And they put their hands in the water because most of a raccoon's food is found in the water, in the wild. And they feel around until they find something good and then they pull it up and eat it. But you'll find that when they're foraging, a lot of times they don't look down. The water is kind of murky. But anyway, even if it wasn't, they keep their eyes up to scan for danger. And uh, they feel around using just their hands and they pull up something tasty and then they eat it. And uh, in this case, it seems to be clams and other small things. But there are definitely uh, minnows, crayfish, salamanders, um, snails, clams, if I haven't already said that, uh, water striders, various aquatic insects, uh, all types of things in here. So what they are finding to eat could be any of those things. But see how they're, they're pawing all around and feeling? Now at my job, we have two captive raccoons. Uh, they have always been in captivity. They were never wild. And uh, they, of course, exhibit the same behavior instinctively. So we put treats in their pool for them, and they will feel around in exactly this way. So this is right here, the height of natural raccoon behavior. So I'm very glad to be seeing them doing this. And it's also good that they followed me all the way down here, and they're having a chance to experience here this uh, area as a potential home and food source. It was tough to get them through the woods, actually, as one of them kept not following me, and I'd have to stop and wait, and it kept trying to locate the one. So, now we're all here, though. No, no, not that. That's my camera case. Not that. That's the camera case. Hey, you're getting your wet hands on it. Stop that. No, no. <laughs> oh, gosh, they've gone into, like, foraging overdrive. Now they're going to forage on me. Get over there. Get over there. <laughs> I think they're doing very well here. And I'm still going to take them back up, but I wanted them to definitely see this area because it's certainly one of the most raccoon-friendly. And I see no problem with just letting them explore this particular spot instead of trying to travel down some distance because this looks like a great, relatively safe area here them to hide and stuff. Oh, they can come out the other side. Apparently one of them was over there. I mean, it's almost like a, like a natural den site here. Of course, at times, on the water level right now, this is like as low as it gets. I mean, there's back barely any water, which makes for great foraging for them. But uh, in the uh, other months of the year, in particular, like springtime, the water is actually quite high. I mean, there were some parts which, well, they could almost be maybe four feet deep. I mean, not like incredibly high. Right here, it's never that high, but um, these roots would be submerged at certain times of the year. Well, I'm glad this is going so well so far here. Of course, we still have the other guys to uh, release but I'm going to do that just before dark, so I don't even think I'll be able to make a video because it already looks so very dark on this screen right now. And, I mean, it's actually it's pretty light out. I mean, it's I can see perfectly, so I have a feeling that uh, we won't be able to see anything through the video when it gets darker than this.